Let's keep that going because I'm bringing up your next performer. Very talented, very funny man. Let's give it up for Kevin Davis. Give it up, give it up. How's everybody doing tonight? Thank you, thank you for your applause. If you didn't clap, I hope the food gives you diarrhea. And you shit yourself before you make it home. Now nah, I'm only serious. My name's Kevin Davis, I'm actually known as the Marine of Comedy. And that's because I was in the uh, ROTC in the 11th grade. And I watched the bootleg copy of Major Payne over 175 times. <laughs> Naked. <laughs> no, actually, I'm a Marine Corps Master Sergeant. Ooh, really? Retired. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But now I'm retired, so my perspective's different. Now, I just want to kill with comedy. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> I gotta keep my options open, you know what I mean? In case this comedy stuff don't work out. Cause comedy ain't paying my bills right now. At least the killer pay twice a month. <laughs> With a pension. <laughs> Just to prove my point, man. Last week I did a show in Utah. Damn, I'm glad to be back in the United States. <laughs> now, nah, man, Utah reminded me of a third world country. Just not as nice. And let me just say this real quick. If Disneyland is the happiest place on earth, then Utah got to be the whitest. <laughs> no, no, they had snow every goddamn way. <laughs> and a lot of white people too, you know what I mean? <laughs> Seriously, man, I was there five days. I seen three black people. One was at the airport and two was in the back of a police car. <laughs> I believe I couldn't see what they were saying, but they mouth looked they were saying, get out. <laughs> but I did a show there, against my better judgment. I did a show there. They tried to pay me with chicken wings, <laughs> beer, and crack cocaine. I was offended, because I don't eat chicken. I mean, anymore, you know. I'm diabetic. <laughs> and they sensitive up there too. Ooh, they sensitive up in Utah. Crack can make you sensitive to a lot of shit. Work, soap, water, tooth and paste. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Woo. No, there was some people up there dentally childish, let me tell you. <laughs> they was up there renting teeth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Seriously, man, I met a girl up there. They, it was, I was at a Del Taco. It was a Del Taco. I met a girl, I knew she was a crackhead. Cause she only had seven teeth. And three of them was in her pocket. Now the other four were so crooked, she bit into a case of deer. It spelled out Jesus. They was freaking out. That's a sign. Jesus is coming back. That's a sign. The old man just said, yeah, Jesus will be back tomorrow. He went to the grill. <laughs> Tell you guys a little bit about me real quick. I am a divorce. I am a single parent. I'm actually raising my 12-year-old son. Hey, 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 don't applaud. I'll volunteer for that shit. It was court order. You know what I'm saying? But some of y'all didn't do that shit, you know what I'm saying? You're like, wait a minute. A black guy volunteering to raise his own kids? That only happens on the Tyler Perry movie. <laughs> but no, I am, I'm raising my son and it's a little rough. Let me be honest, it's a little rough when you're raising your kids because uh, I had some credit problems after I got divorced. I had some problems. My credit dropped from, uh, I had a 755. That's white people credit right there. I had my, my credit dropped from a 755 to Negro please. That's what it dropped down to. 
I had nigga, oh please, Greta, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I know, I know why my, my score dropped. I know why it dropped, because I stopped paying for shit. <laughs> I done paid the mortgage. <laughs> I done paid the car note. I done paid JC or Penny. <laughs> And it was rough, you know, it was rough on me and my son. We were almost homeless. And I did what I had to do as a father to put a roof over my child's head. I put the credit out for the apartment in my son's name. <laughs> that shit didn't work either, man. My son, 12, he already a victim of identity then. <laughs> now his credit worked in mine. My son got a bankruptcy, a foreclosure, and he's six months behind on child support. <laughs> They've been guarding this since lunch money for three years now. You know? <laughs> he had a nerd to come up to me the other day talking about, Dad, when I turn 16, can I get a car? I was like, Negro, please. <laughs> I said, if you don't pay that child support, <laughs> you ain't even getting a driver's license. <laughs> he said, well, what child support, Dad? I'm only 12. I said, oh, now you're only 12. <laughs> you weren't saying that when you was messing with them hoes and messing up our credit. <laughs> I see y'all judging me. Y'all know these are just jokes. He ain't my goddamn son. <laughs> He's adopted, isn't he? <laughs> hey, if you got a drink, do me a favor, man. I just celebrated my 47th birthday. Eight years ago. I'm getting old, man. You know how you, you know you getting old? Because you can't do the shit you used to do. Like when I was a young man, I could jump off this stage. When I was in the Marines, I used to jump out of planes. Now, I can't jump out of bed. I can't even jump for joy. Last week, I threw my back out jumping to a conclusion. I'm all messed up. I got all, I got all kind of ailments. My body's breaking down. I'm lactose intolerant. I got bad knees, a collapsed lung. I'm a diabetic. And my memory ain't what it used to be. And on top of all that, I also got... I'm lactose intolerant. I got bad knees, a collapsed lung. I'm a diabetic. And my memory, it ain't what it used to be. I got like 10 things wrong with me. I'm all messed up. Tell me ever happened to you before. You ever run up the steps, get to the top, forget where you went up there? Be walking back, but what the hell I come up here for? Because <laughs> you ain't going back down. But yeah. Then some remind you, ooh, I'm going to take a shit. <laughs> That's when you're old, man. Trust me, man. Trust me. Trust me, man. But listen, man. Do me a favor, take care of your health. Don't do like I'm doing. I'm, I'm realizing right now that I am spending more time with my doctor than I am with my girlfriend. <laughs> Which is bad. The good news is it's cheaper. <laughs> the doctor takes copay, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I wish my girlfriend took copay. I could save thousands of dollars. Well, that's what I call a girlfriend. I call her girlfriend, she called me John. That's our arrangement. <laughs> But last week, I got a procedure done at the doctor. And not only did it open my eyes, it opened up my asshole too. <laughs> last week, I got a prostate exam by mistake <laughs> at Walmart <laughs> in Utah. I had a group on. <laughs> now I didn't go to Walmart to get a prostate exam, I went to get my back checked because I threw it out jumping to a, a conclusion. Exactly, that's what happened. Little cute girl, she, she said, Mr. Davis, we noticed you paid with a group on. We'd like to give you a free prostate exam. Now, I didn't even know what a prostate exam was. I'm not going to lie, but I heard free. I said, I'll take your little punk ass exam. But I ain't going to do well on it. I know that. Because you didn't give me time to study. She said, it's not that type of exam, it's a rectum. Oh, rectum, I got scared, I got scared. I ain't used to nobody playing with my booty hole. For medicinal purposes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, 
nah, nah, nah. I ain't no, I ain't no freaking number. I like a little licky licky every now and then. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't forget my ball sack. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just don't stick your tongue and that's kind of gay and shit, you know what I mean? She said, no, sir, it's a simple procedure. All you gotta do is drop your pants, bend over, and wait for the doctor, he'll be in shortly. Now I'm praying to God that the doctor is a petite Asian woman with the hands of an infant. I hear it coming down the hallway. I swing around. The only thing Asian about is the name. China. She looked like that WWE wrestler. She was about 450 pounds. She made precious look like an anorexic runway model. She had them big feet, had on them Birkenstocks. She came in sliding like she had on canoes. Had them big long fingers, E.T., the extraterrestrial fingers. She had fingers look like Arsenio Hall from The Living Color. They were so long, she could palm a Volkswagen Beetle. That's when I got nervous and started praying to God Almighty and the baby Jesus. I said, God, I know you're busy trying to stop Trump from starting World War III. And your biggest challenge, God, trying to stop Tyler Perry from making any more Madea movies. But God, if you can find it in your heart and soul to bless me with the best anal lube you can find, Cause if this woman stick them long fingers in my ass, Lord, I may not have a prostate problem today, but I could have hemorrhoids for life. She walks in, says a couple words without a warning, a countdown, not even a kiss. Bow, up my ass, three fingers, I buckled, I buckled, I buckled, I buckled. My shoulders turned up, I couldn't breathe. She was going like this. And it was tricky, cause she was a lefty, a southpaw. And she was hitting me, just like, just, Three fingers. The last time I used Groupon for a prostate exam. She was so deep, I could taste her fingernail polish. I could tell how many cash on the wedding band. She had three, she had three. She was so deep, I thought she was trying to find China. In the military, we got a term for that. That's called breaching the perimeter. She breached the shit out of my perimeter and my ass did what it's supposed to do. Protect the perimeter of my sphincter muscle. Grab the freaking. I try to run, she's behind me. I start throwing moves. I couldn't shake it, so I start twerking. I go pop it out. Fifteen minutes. They called the fire department in the jaws of life. Distract the finger out my asshole. When it came out, it sounded like a 1997 show today. It sounded like this. Hello, they popped the bottles. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, all I've been through, surprise, embarrassing, clinically, she raped me. <laughs> this woman had a nerve to look at me and say, I lost my wedding band. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you did. But you ain't sticking them long fingers back in my booty hole. But I tell you what we can do, we can fix this problem. You give me a glass of warm milk, three Oreo cookies, and some banana pudding. I had that ring back in about 15 minutes. Cause I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Did I tell you, I got bad knees. I got a collapsed lung. I'm a diabetic. And my memory, it ain't what it used to be. My name's Kevin Davis, Marina Comedy. We had a great time. I want to introduce my friends one more time. And we want to thank you for being a great ass to Much love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Money. I need the money. Do you think it's funny? But when I get the cash and I'm buying my things, and you say you want me, I won't give you nothing. Keep doing your hunting.
For somebody else that they give you the riches you wanted. Wow. I know you spoiled. You always expected the world. But when you got cut off, you still wanted diamonds and pearls. Yeah, you crazy. So you kept looking, looking, looking for the gold. Rely on others, that's your plan, or that shit go. You told me that shit go. And tried it with my bros. You act like you'll make a change. But we know you'll go running for more. Addicted to all the clothes, you getting backstage on the shows. When they find out who is the real you, they kicking you out the door. My girl, she couldn't relate. She making the bank and she take me on dates. She know all the people like you try to get in my head because y'all love the hate. I try to keep them all out because if I get mad, then you won't have a face. Bash you with a 22 if you wanna run fast and tie up your lace. I need the money. Do you think it's funny? But when I get the cash and I'm buying my things, and you say you want me, you say you want me. I won't give you nothing. No, no. Keep doing your hunting. Doing your hunting. For somebody else that they give you the riches you wanted. Wow. I know you spoiled. You always expected the world. But when you got cut off, you still wanted diamonds and pearls. Yeah, you crazy. So you kept looking, looking, looking for the gold. Rely on others, that's your plan, or that shit go. That shit go.